morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. What we doing today? Anybody awake this early in the morning? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I think it was this one here that was really, really sharp yesterday. We'll see here in a minute. Good morning. What I'm going to do this morning here is, this is my number four piece that goes on my saddle. S-K-I-V-E. Around the edges there, so lay flat. So here we go. That's dang near a quarter inch thick already. I like doing it when it's wet. It cuts easier. The sky is easier when it's wet. What I'm trying to get done is a feather, a feather edge on it. Like I've got right there and right there. Sorry about all that noise this early in the morning, huh? See the difference that sharpener made? Now once it's on my saddle, I'll skive it from the other side. And take out any kind of little lumps and bumps and whatnots. Whoop, sorry about that. What did I just do? There we go. I guess that's not a very good angle, huh? Not a very good angle. part I'm working on now is going to be toward the back of the saddle, up into the cantle dish, which is the part that kind of fits up against the back side of your, like where your pockets are at, on a back, you know, your back pockets on a pair of pants. I haven't found a good machine that'll do this type of work yet. I've seen the what they call a five-in-one, 
that kind of skives, but it leaves a lot of marks. Leaves quite a bit of marking on it. Five to one is kind of a uh, bootmaker, shoemaker type tool anyway, which I had one at one time, I think. Either a five to one or a three in one, but I lost it years ago. I lost a lot of stuff years ago. Exciting stuff, ain't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. It's just not real exciting this morning, huh? I'm going to try to get this piece laid down today. Then I'm going to try to cut me some grass. But that entails me having to go to the tire shop, get a flat fixed. Go get some gasoline. Might ought to change the oil in that lawnmower too. It's about due. I need tires for my pickup truck too. Who's got the hookup for good tires? Inexpensive tires. I could ask my brother-in-law, but I don't like to ask him. He take good care of my sister and my dad, so I don't want to ask no discounts from him. All right, there's that. Let me put the knife up so I don't cut you. Let me do this now. Gather all that up so it don't wind up on the floor. I'll be right back. Calm down, calm down, cool your jets. I'll be right back. Next, next, this is the front part of the saddle. This goes on the up against the swell cover. Huh, let's see if I can get you a better view. Hang on, hold on. Hold on. Extending the legs on the tripod. Get you about a foot higher. Of course.
course now I need to go like that. Hello, Joe David Kilborn from down in South Texas. Is that the one I want? Nope. This is the one I want right there. Now I'm going to come down here a little bit more like that. Show you the next step. Which is pretty simple. All I'm going to do oh, is drop the phone and give everybody a headache. They probably just spilled your coffee and everything, didn't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, kids. Let's do this. Hello. Now I can go like that. Maybe, maybe not. There you go. There you go. Next step's pretty easy. All I'm gonna do is just mark a center line. So there, right about here, 12 and a half, so that's gonna be six and a quarter. At that spot, come back here, and I'm eyeballing the square spot. There's 11 and Three quarters, so that's going to be five and a half plus three eighths. Like my math. <laughs> now, there I've got a center line to look off of. And then we Go to spread and glue. Yahoo! It's my favorite part of the job. <laughs> It'll give you a headache. Trust me. It ain't all shits and giggles. It's not all shits and giggles. I don't see how these kids that sniff glue can do it. And for y'all that tune in just to see my handsome face, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me get this spread. This is the first jar of this Masters contact semen I've ever used. I like it. In fact, that reminds me I should probably go ahead and order another one because I can't get it locally. Y'all remind me to do that later today, kids. Well, that's another thing I got to do today is I got to go into San Antonio and put a tire on my trailer, god dang it. Uh, I forgot about that. Yay me. Now, tell you the ordeal I went through. I guess I could while I'm spreading this glue. Week before last, on a Friday, I go into San Antonio to get a new tire put on my trailer. Because I'm seeing wire coming through it. Well, I patiently wait in line at Southern Tire Mart there on the east side of San Antonio. Until I finally noticed that there were two trucks that come in after I did that were in the bay and already getting worked on. I mean, they jumped right the hell on them like they'd been there all damn day. So I went inside there and kind of said, hey, I hate to be an asshole, but I'm fixing to be. How come... I've been here two hours, and y'all ain't even looked at me yet. But you got these guys have been here ten minutes, and they're already put it on. Let them go to the voicemail. And I'll call them back. By golly, uh, they must have heard me talking about the tire or you. So anyway, they hurry up and get me out of there, and I get on down the road. Well, the next week on the Friday, they called me. Told me, hey, Landstar's not paying for that tire because it's a Firestone. I said, well, I didn't ask for a Firestone. I asked for a Bridgestone because I know Landstar won't, does not have an account with Firestone. 
I can just leave that there. All right, let's get this camera. Oops, flipped around. See, that's what all that glue there looks like. So now we'll go to the saddle over here. Hang on a minute, kids. Hang on a minute, kids. Hold on, it might get rough. You might get dropped. <laughs> let's find a good place to put my Yes, and one day I'm going to hire a cute little girl to come in here and do my filming for me. But until then, you're just stuck with this. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is rough up that seat so that I can spread glue on it. Now, I shouldn't have to rough it up too much where I've smoothed it out. right there yep just barely all right The razor blade in there. can scratch it up some more. This next piece is the most critical piece because uh, on top of it will actually be your seat. It'll be there forever and ever and ever. So any kind of little divots or whatever you have will show up.
All right, I'm not gonna spread no more glue and let y'all sit and watch it set up or nothing like that. I'm gonna turn y'all loose. And we'll come back later on today and show you what we did here. I hope every has everybody has a good, what the hell is today? Thursday, I guess? Has a good day. Remember, go check me out on YouTube. David Mills Saddlery. Check me out on the World Wide Web. DavidMillsSaddlery.com. And, of course, here on the Facebook world, David Mills Saddlery Facebook page. All right, kids. Toodaloo, buggeroos.